title, the World Championship. He's got it, great shot and hits the jack and changes everything dramatically. Cracking ball. She's got the weight, she's got the line. Here. He's hit it. She has won the gold medal in a pulsating final. It's been a marathon, not a sprint. Two weeks of pulsating action here for the World Bowls Championship at the tourist mecca, Australia's tourist mecca, the Gold Coast, and we zoom in on the fabulous Broadbeach Bowls Complex for what will be our final day of finals action. Joined by Carla Krasanek and Barry Lester, two of our great champions, and haven't we seen some great action over the last couple we of weeks? We knew when we saw the men's quarters that this singles final was going to be pretty special anyway, whoever made it through. Yeah, the, the remaining four players, such high credentialed bowlers, Pat, and as we see there, Gary Kelly looking to win another world medal title here, gold medal here on these beautiful greens at Broadbeach, but he's coming up against a guy from Canada that resides here and lives and plays on these greens here at Broadbeach, so he'll be very hard to beat. Look at that. Men's singles final now is all that we have remaining after two weeks, as I've said a few times. It's a marathon, not a sprint, this one. But we're just about at the finish line, and we've got two great bowlers to entertain us. Oh, yeah, we sure do. We've got, uh, got Ryan Bester, who has played so many bowls here at this club, Gary Kelly from Ireland. The two of them, they're, they're both living in Australia, so they know the conditions so well. This is going to be an awesome game. Yeah, Gary Kelly, well, he's uh, he's trying to go back-to-back -back gold medals, you know, show his wares when it comes to playing in the pairs and now singles. But Ryan Best, the one in Australian Open singles on this rink only three or four years ago. He rolls up on this rink, he knows the conditions well, and you can see there, Pat, slightly overcast now, not as hot and shiny as it was earlier. And Gary Kelly and Ryan Best, it's going to be one of the best matches you'll see of this event. As we've heard right the way through, too, from Clyde, that they play a real power game when it's necessary, don't they? Yeah, it's important for the market to be on their ball game as well because they're going to have to jump out, out of the way of a few flying jacks <laughs> today, I think. Barry, we, we speak about Ryan, for the more I read about him, he played a, a pretty pivotal role right here at Broadbeach when, when Broadbeach wasn't always the, the thriving club that it is now. Spot on, Pat. Bowls manager, moved up from New South Wales. He was down there for quite a while, moved up here, and since then the club's really turned around, and especially with the hosting of the Australian Open since 2015. And, of course, Carla, you won two gold medals there, the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games in 218. So Ryan Bester, Bowls manager here. He's really put this club on the map with the rest of the administration crew here. And look at the place. There's no other place in the world you'd want to see this World Championships finals be held. Well, we've, uh, it's lived up to expectations so far. We saw a wonderful triples final. We saw the right result for the locals. We sent Lindsay out in wonderful fashion. They chaired her from the green moments ago and they'll be in the clubhouse right now. There's Australians gathered everywhere. But as we said, even though this is Ireland v Canada, there's an immense Australian interest because they've been playing their bowls in Australia, both these gentlemen, for a long time. We will be back right after this for the men's singles final to wrap up the World Championships here. A broadbeach. Cloud cover here on the Gold Coast. Don't think there's any threat of rain, but it's just taken the heat, the bite out of that sun, which will make it more pleasant for our singles finalists. Last event. What do we have, uh, Clive? Clive, I said. What, over 1,200 matches contested, 44 countries, five locations used. We were at Helensvale for finals last week. We're at Broadbeach, the mecca on the Gold Coast today. It's been busy. Yes, and it comes down to this one. This is going to be such an interesting match. You know, both players play a very similar style. You won't see either hold back if there's a, a target to aim at. Uh, Gary Kelly, of course, Commonwealth Games silver medalist. Uh, that final was gone before he had a chance, really. Aaron Wilson put on an amazing show. So, uh, you know, that, that may or may not be in the back of his mind in terms of getting getting off to a solid start. And Ryan Best are very familiar to everyone here representing Canada. And uh, I believe Barry has got both the players there. Thanks, Clive. Ryan Best, uh, bowls coordinator here. You've been here for nearly 10 years. Ryan, tell us a bit about the conditions and what you're looking forward to this big match today. Yeah, conditions will be perfect, a bit overcast, um, but yeah, the green's perfect, probably about 16 to 17 seconds, which is perfect uh, for good balls, nice and true on both sides, so looking forward to a great match. 
And I know you're a proud Canadian, obviously representing your country, but you do play here out of Broad Beach. What's it like to have uh, some home crowd, as well as your countrymen, but as well as some uh, members supporting along today? Yeah, it'll be very special. I played the Commonwealth Games in Melbourne in 2006 and uh, fell in love with the country and the Bulls here and moved down here since then. Uh, but yeah, it'd be good to have um, all the club mates here cheering me on, as well as the Canadian team and uh, my parents over from Canada as well. Well, all the best in this match, Ryan. Thanks, Barry. And Gary Kelly, you're also representing Ireland and your first Big World Bowl singles final. How are you feeling, mate? Yeah, no, obviously a, bit, a little bit nervous, but yeah, super excited about the opportunity, so looking forward to a good game. And the green speed, uh, it's quite qu quick out there. You, would you uh, be looking to play uh, an aggressive game if need be early? Oh, just to see what happens. Obviously, we've all got our game plans and that, but just see how the game unfolds, really. Well, you've uh, put in a big performance so far, winning the pairs. Singles eludes you today. Uh, all the best to you in this big match against a good friend in yours and a guy from Canada, the Master Blaster, in this match today. Thank you so much. Well, both players are very experienced at world level, Commonwealth Games level. We saw Ryan Bester only seven years ago in the final last time here, just falling short to Shannon McElroy over there in New Zealand. Conditions different today. We've got the green speed at 17 seconds with a slight easterly breeze and some overcast conditions. So ideally for the players, they'd probably prefer it to be overcast for the uh, remaining part of the match. But as we speak, the sun's coming out. Thank you, Barry. Good. Great access to have a chat to the two combatants just yeah, they, before they start. They weren't keen to give too much away, were they, Gary <laughs> Kelly? I'll just go with whatever I need to do. Well, I think we know what to expect with these two. Uh, a, they're both very accurate draw shot players. They're both very accurate runners. They've got all the shots, and it's not going to take long for this one to fire up as we get underway with Ryan Bester using the blue bowls means that Gary Kelly will be using the red. Nice and easy to tell the difference between the bowls. Well, the Kiwi contingent in the undercover grandstand has been replaced by a sea of green. Ireland in here in numbers to support Gary Kelly. The 34-year-old. And, of course, we have... An expert down there on the green looking after this match as well, our marker Ryan Havercroft. Ryan hails from South Perth Club, so I know, know Ryan well. He's, he's a wonderful volunteer at his club and very passionate about the sport, so a wonderful reward for him to be uh, looking after us for a World Championship singles final. Is he agile? Uh, yes, you he'll, think he might have for me, don't you? He'll be good. He'll be, he'll, he'll be good. Well, have to dance out of the way of a few scattering bowls. Done his warm up and his stretches to make sure he can get out of, way, out of the way quick enough. Carla rejoining us. Did you get a chance to drop in on Team Australia just very quickly? I did not be because they, the three girls were absolutely hounded by people. So I did try to on my way for a bit of a rest stop, but uh, um, no, there's so many people surrounding them. So I will catch up eventually. Didn't you try Don't You Know Who I Am? <laughs> <laughs> get the elbows out and wiggle my way in. I'm the sure. immediate past champ. <laughs> I saw a few families. There's some very happy families down there. So I did give them a bit of a hug as I ran past. Well, these first couple of ends are going to be just, just filling out the conditions. Mm -hmm. Of course, 21 up is the journey, so it doesn't change. Some some singles tournaments we see that the amount of shots can increase as, uh, as, as we get closer to the pointy end. 21 up remains for this one. Let's see, both players just looking to find that line early. That's, that's the key early, is it's just finding that middle of the rink settling in on the line and then the weight comes with that. I think that's a good reminder for players out there as well. If you're having a game where you sort of are struggling a little bit by just concentrating on the line, just concentrating on trying to fix one thing, rather than trying to fix the line and the weight all together, it can fix your line and all of a sudden your weight might just follow. Well, that's done enough to sneak in the shot there. Gary Kelly with the final attempt of this end. Each player has four bowls. And can he find his way in here? That line looks handy. It's all going to come down to weight. Not quite going to get there. And there will be one shot to get us underway. 
Five of Canada. Canada. Of course, the rules remain around uh, killing ends when uh, when these players do step up to play aggressive shots. The respot remains in place. Drink wise, you won't miss a moment if you drink wise. That's uh, wonderful advice and another one of our great sponsors here during this four days of World Bowls finals that we've been bringing to you. Wherever you may be watching in the bowls loving world. No waiting, no delay with these two. <laughs> no, there's, neither of them takes uh, very long on the mat. And we've seen a well, it's a relatively short end, really. Put it in the short to medium category, but uh, always interesting to look at the tactics early on. Well, Gary Kelly, not far away with this, just needs to pull up. We look at Ryan... Look, is it, and I know he's been immensely successful all over the world, but is this his destiny? A world singles championship. It, it seems like he's done everything else. It does feel that way, doesn't it? Absolutely. You know, and a, and a reward, when he decided to make the move here, he would have no idea that he was going to be playing in a world singles yeah. final mm. right here at, at the club that he calls home. Yeah, absolutely. To win them, um, to win medals in your country is awesome. Here he is trying to win a medal on his his club green. All his club mates are here in the grandstands, and I think it's a little bit like he had a little bit of a chance at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. Came out with the silver medal. Yep. Aaron Wilson got the better of him in the final. So this almost him might see as a little chance of redemption for that. And their pathway here. And we'll talk about that, but I mean, they've played 12 matches to get here. I was going through all the results <laughs> last night in preparation, and I couldn't believe the number of games. Like, when you actually sit down and go through the number of games, Ryan Bester was in a very tricky section. He, he's got 121 shots to his advantage, 248 scored, 127 against as Gary Kelly. Oh, pushed the ball to Jack. Still going to be one to... Ryan Bester will check whether there's two there. That's the good thing about having the marker out there is uh, he will let us know. You'll see the marker won't go into the head while Ryan Bester's looking at it, though, so he will just wait until Ryan turns around, then he'll go and have a look. So, Carla, the reason I was asking about the, the destiny, you know, when I'm just looking at facts and figures, three times a singles medalist at World, so he's been on the podium, bronze in Christchurch, silver in Adelaide, silver in Christchurch in 16... And then remarkably three podiums and singles at the Com Games, but no gold yet. I mean, yeah. there's a, there, there must be a level of frustration for someone this good. Yeah, and I, I think that's probably, there's a real hunger, of course, for him because he's been so close so many times and just hasn't been able to quite capture that goal. So that, I feel like he seems really focused in on this game. I, I heard, I, we didn't get to see the semi-final yesterday, but from all reports, he was real focused and uh, on a real mission from the get-go in that game. Well, both of these players came through very stiff opposition. As I, I mentioned, Ryan was plus 121 for the tournament. Gary Kelly's plus 162. 252 shots scored, not only 90 against across 12 matches. Yep, and he... He's in the cruise. area again here, Pat. Oh, he's got a perfect... What a result, that is. Shot. Oh, Absolutely boy. perfect. Let's have a look at the result of this. Three. With a spectacular finish to the second end, and he takes the lead, 3-1. Couldn't have possibly imagined anything better than that one for Gary Kelly, the Irishman, the 34-year-old Irishman. We'll be back.
Cloud cover here at Broadbeach as we go straight into Gary Kelly from Ireland, who's taken a 3-1 lead at the end of the second end with a spectacular final bowl. Playing the Canadian Ryan Best of both gentlemen now based in Australia. An opportunity here for Gary Kelly and he's taken it. Adds another to hold two. Ryan Bester just with one bowl left here to try and do something about it. Of course, to get here, Gary Kelly defeated Aaron Wilson 21-6. Mm. You've got to be playing well to beat Aaron Wilson 21-6. There's no doubt about it. And uh, Ryan Bester defeated a very, very much a quality opponent as we see big weight and bang. Jack goes flying as we predicted. <laughs> now that is... I believe out of bounds, is it? I'm not sure. It's it's <laughs> it's one to get it up. I believe it did go out of bounds. There was no point in grabbing it because it was the last yes. end, uh, last pole. So I saw Ryan pick it up. It was out of bounds by a foot. So it's just a matter of looking to see who had shot on the tee. Well, there you go. That gives you an indication. You know, many players would have tried to draw that last shot, but instead Ryan backs himself for, to go the jack and made very clean contact. And that'll be something that Gary Kelly's very aware of, um, knowing that there'll be times that Ryan Bester will go for the bare jack when, you know, you wouldn't expect many players to actually play that. So being conscious of making sure you've got the tee covered or you've got something back. Just as well, we've got the world's best bowls here, the, the Henselites. I think they're going to cop a little bit of a bat today, aren't they? Henselite, be your best with the world's best bowls. It's the sort of percentages the players will know as well. Like Ryan Bester will know what sort of percentages he has at hitting a bear jack. So he can weigh that into his decision making when he when he decides to play certain shots. I think the thing is as well, like he drawn his first three and hadn't really finished in the zone. Sometimes if you don't find it, you're better off playing a different shot. Give something a different, you know, try something different. Don't don't miss four times. Try something different with your last one. Another brilliant shot from Gary Kelly, appreciated by his teammates in the crowd. I'm starting to wonder whether he's been beaten here on the Gold Coast at these times. They won the pairs with uh, Adam McEwen. Now, he's been unbeaten through this 
adventure in the singles, hasn't he? I believe the number is once, but I'm, I'm not sure which tournament it was. <laughs> but that is... Well, uh, Ryan Bester was right in the zone. Got a handy little sneak, and we might see wait from Gary Kelly in reply here. Both of these players look to make their mark on this match. Well, it's it's not massive weight, but it's enough to push the bowl out. Oh, he's very close. Look at this. Bang, out it goes. Didn't really want the jack as well. So that's opened up some room for Ryan Bester. Now, if we have a look at the way this has landed, as we see the jack go out to the side, it's interesting because that's currently two or three to Gary Kelly. The closer Ryan Bester gets to the jack here, the more likely he is to drop numbers because <laughs> if he gets right on it, Gary Kelly will play weight. If he leaves a bit of a gap, Gary's more likely to draw. He needs this to pull up. Well, that might have gone too far. It's That will be close and we'll get a call from Ryan. A measure is the call. So Gary going to have a look at this because if, if he thinks he's down, there's every chance he'll, he'll go for the bowl, even though there's so much room there to draw it. He'll want to go and have a look at what value's there. If he thinks he's got three seconds, he may well go on the attack. But see, if that if that bowl of Ryan Bester is sitting right next to the jack, there's no decision to make. Yeah. He would have just gone for it. So it's a bit of a catch-22 when you're yeah. playing in that situation. You also, you've just got to be cautious not to nip the jack on the way past and kill it. Ryan, no. Ryan's holding the tee. The, the, the percentage shot here is a draw. Yeah. Uh, well, I would, but I'm not a very good driver, so <laughs> that's... <laughs> yeah, he's gone back to the draw. The only hesitation we had is we know how aggressive these two players are. And when <coughs> Gary's on the mat and he holds the ball so high, I think he's going to drive every ball. Uh, he's clearly drawn the shot there. So we worry about the rest. This could be a big swing. It's a one. One to Ireland. Four, two, four ends. Gary Kelly has the lead. Famous beaches of the Gold Coast, so very close to this Broad Beach complex. We're at the men's singles final. It is the last event in this 2023 World Bowls Championships. It's spread across 
five clubs on the Gold Coast, 44 countries, 400 plus competitors, many, many officials and volunteers. You've got to thank them all. It's been a wonderful spectacle. We have Ireland, we have Gary Kelly from Ireland leading 4 2, and we're in the fifth end. First to 21 will decide the gold medalist. Of course, avid viewers will know that they've watched these two go at it at BPLs over the years as well, Bell's Premier League. And Ryan Bester have a look at this because if he's got two seconds, he might well go on the attack and look to remove this bowl. That last bowl of Gary Kelly's just coming up short there, but it's probably helped protect Ryan a little bit of getting the jack because he didn't really want the jack if he plays weight. If he plays weight, here it comes. <laughs> Looking for the edge. Looking for the edge, and he's oh, got he's it. Clean well. as a whistle. <laughs> Brian Bester. Pretty hard to argue. He's not the best in the game at that skill. Bang, out it goes. Didn't even worry about getting the jack. That's not what he was going for. <laughs> Most of us are aiming at a target of a few bowls. <laughs> he doesn't even just aim it. That was half, a quarter of a jack he was aiming at then. And took out the scoreboard as well with the bowl that went flying across the green. Fantastic shot. He's done it for years, has Ryan. He's he's taken out teammates. He's taken out opposition <laughs> with, uh, with big hits. There's a famous video going around of Wayne Turley getting hit by one. I know yeah. that. And uh, at one of the BPLs, Joe Edwards got in the way of a uh, a driver and put her out to put her out for the rest of the day. Uh, copping one of those in the shins, so it is. Uh, you do have to be uh, on your toes when he's around. Has there got to be a huge advantage bowling here, where he is bowling top rank and manager? I don't know, know. You know, Australian greens are similar, I suppose, around the country. But living here and playing virtually all your bowls here, it has to be. It, it, look, familiarity is is a big thing in sport, isn't it? And that's, you know, he would have known. He would have known exactly where this final was going to be played. He would have had yep. the opportunity to get out here and really know the rink. And those opportunities are still there for a, a Gary Kelly being in Australia, but mm. just not so readily available, you know. I'm sure you're the same, Clive. You know your home green. You know all those little sneaky things about particular rinks, um, where, where, think, where it might hold, where it might turn a little bit more. Everybody knows their home green better than any other green so it definitely is a little bit of an advantage so but I guess the thing is this is such a perfect sort of rink right now it's running so well so at least yeah and there's not not too many faults to know no, is there? no there's not, I don't think there's many runs in there it's no. too flat for a run it'll be interesting to see how long we go before Gary Kelly chooses to fire back with some weight because it can get a little bit that way where you say well okay you've You've done all that. I'm going to fire back a little bit. Show you I can do it too. Mm. I think the thing is, Gary would have known coming in that Ryan's likely to be trying to take out, you know, one ball targets and, and run a bear jack. So he knows he just needs to be patient and persistent and keep putting the balls in there. It also affects the way you build heads, Carla. When you're playing against someone that you know is going to drive at things, you you just can't afford to put two bowls right next to each other and build targets. You have to leave it at one bowl targets and hope that he misses a few. And just the way you construct a head just needs to be a little different in your thinking. Drop past. We might wait for the end of this end and get Barry's thoughts on that as well in terms of constructing a head against these big drivers. Right now though, Gary Kelly is he's made the adjustment. He's right in the area here for the jack. What a shot. Follows it through and that will do. Another one on the board. Oh, two. Sorry. Two. Six four. 
It's moving very quickly. Barry, is it this final? Yeah, it sure is. Uh, Gary Kelly, no mucking around, two fingers up, quick nod, and the jack is down. So interesting to see. Gary Kelly's playing Matt back, jack in the middle, and Ryan Bester went Matt up, jack at the tee. So I think a reason for that is if, if Ryan knows when he draw and when he plays a, a weighted drive, that if he can get bowls around the tee, that if he does have to kill, uh, those bowls will come in more into play. Whereas if he does smother the, the jack or get bowls around the head with the jack up the green, when it kills, those bowls won't play any further part. So I think that's the way Ryan's going about it. Um, this particular hand where Gary's coming in, you see it's a sharp turn coming in. It's coming straight through the football oval from that sort of south, strong south westerly. So we're seeing that hand turn quite nicely. But both players have used the blue bowls since post-sectional and the red bowls for Gary. So they're familiar with these sets of bowls using the same colour since um, the sectional rounds. So that's been handy for them just to get familiar with that bowl. They do, they, the, all bowls are the same, but it's just looking down and seeing that same colour in your hand and getting familiar with that is a, is a good confidence booster as well. And I've played a lot of bowls with Gary Kelly over the last four or five years. I've never seen him this quiet and, and just this so focused. Usually he... Uh, Loves that sort of up and about encouragement, uh, high fiving, a lot of voice, and he is the most quietest and determined I've ever seen him. It's a pretty good back hopper for a quite determined man there. Big weight coming, and right on target. Well, gets one of them out. <laughs> I'll tell you what, solid contact on the jack there. And that might have been going uh, somewhere towards uh, what square leg. <laughs> you got to be, you got to be keeping your eye on things here. Well, the insurance is paid up at the crowd. And Gary will look to add another one here. He's already got the range. Well, just a little short, but that'll challenge Ryan now to come back to the draw. It's a skill in itself, isn't it, Clive? The drive, big way, and then coming back just to the gentle draw. I think the more difference, in, in a sense, having a difference in your technique is Ryan Bester. Talk about the, talk about the skill. If your drive technique's different enough to your draw technique, it is actually just two completely different yeah. skills. Yeah, it's a good point. It sort of changes your mindset in your, in your brain to put, you are playing a different shot completely. And, and obviously, Brian's practising that all the time, drive to draw. It's not something unfamiliar for him, obviously. <laughs> now, this one's just going to hold too deep, I think. A little chance off his own, but not quite. Just that little bit more room now for Ryan Messer to add another and get that two back. This is going to move quickly, this match. There is no doubt about it. to grab another. Already holds one. Two will draw him level with Gary Kelly. He's placed it well in terms of line. I'm not sure it's quite going to have the trip though. It hasn't. And we move on. 6-5. Nothing in it. Ireland lead. Seven ends in. We're here for Audi Cup. They are the official hearing partner. Bowls Australia, Audica. Well, no hint of nerves from either player. They're both settled in nicely. I don't, I don't have nerves. Well, no nerves, but not a hit of emotion either, really. They, <laughs> no. They're pretty focused, these two. Oh, it's a World Bowls single final. I mean, obviously, but from what I've heard from both of you, that they can be emotive, these two, but it's been pretty staid stuff so far. They're bearing down. Yeah, well, you get to see, you know, even a bit of a fist pump or a bit of anything. They both played some great shots, but they just seem to be, I guess, early days really want to zone in and focus, not get too high in emotion. You've got to keep it balanced throughout the game. But, yeah, nice and quiet out there, mm -hmm. isn't it? Well, it's been interesting because we've seen Gary Kelly successful with more just, just overweighted shots, just a couple of big conversions that way. Whereas we've seen Ryan's very clear intention is if you get right next to it, I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm hitting. 
quite sure about the lure of Oz, but we've heard that both of them have come out here after various <laughs> Commonwealth Games and made Australia their home. And uh, they would have spent a lot of time with this man, uh, Barry Lester, who's been with us right the way through our telecast. You would know these two gentlemen very well, Barry, I would imagine. Uh, the first time I played against Ryan Bester was at the uh, World Under-25 Singles at Warilla back in 2006. And uh, guess what happened that day? He drove me off the green. <laughs> it didn't matter what I did or how well I played. He drove me off the green on the indoor down at Warilla and he's been driving people off the green yeah, well and truly ever since. And... Uh, loves his bowls. And Gary Kelly, a beautiful shot there, six inches away. Loves his bowls. Now a family man, now a dad. Uh, moved up to the Gold Coast to start a new life, and yeah, he's done it all in the game. And I was lucky, very lucky last year to go over to Northern Ireland after the Commonwealth Games and, and meet Gary's family in his house that he grew up in, in Valley Money, Northern Ireland. And, um, yeah, it was great just to meet his family. Um, Brian just nearly shaving the jack there, and they, uh, they're so proud of him. Um, his dad loves his fishing, and um, he's got his brothers and that, so, yeah, just a really tight-knit family, and spending time with Gary the last four or five years, he FaceTimes his mum and dad every day without miss. So if you ever see Gary talking to his phone and holding his phone, phone away, you'll know he's on the phone to his mum and dad. So he's a very... Um, very well connected to his family, even though he's millions of miles away here over in Australia. And speaking of which, we, we might have Ryan Bester's family in the crowd, so um, I'm going to try and hunt them down for you. But, yeah, gr great people, obviously live and breathe for the bowl, for the game of bowls, and, um, yeah, really wear their heart on their sleeve for their countries. Hi, Barry. We, we said right at the start of the show that Ryan is it was here when things weren't quite as rosy for this Broad Beach club, and he's helped with, with quite a few others, obviously, helped drag it up from the bootstraps and made it into just this juggernaut that it is now. Yeah, that's right. When Ryan came here, it was a, a really good uh, shift for the club, just in their planning, and um, to get a big-name player up here to really start gaining, gaining momentum when it comes to big tournaments and other players here, and they haven't looked back since then. And big, um, big component to that was getting the Commonwealth Games here, beautiful location for it. Gad's trying to draw another one, and the club really hasn't looked back and gone from strength to strength since. And he has, he's drawn in another one to make it a two. Takes him to an 8 to 5 lead. Through eight ends. Doesn't matter the ends here, just repeating. It's the first one to 21 in singles. And this is moving very quickly indeed. It's our final event. It's interesting uh, after yesterday's uh, matches. Uh, I did wander over and see Gary Kelly holding up his phone, talking on the phone, so uh, I now know who he was talking to. The wonders of technology, hey? Mm. Uh, it, is, it is great, isn't it? And the fact that, uh, as we were talking about earlier, with, with players coming from all different countries to this event, and I'm sure that they've watched on over the years at the Australian Opens and the events that we've covered from here and dreamt of having the opportunity of playing in these conditions and so many of those dreams have been realised this week without, without, without necessarily going home with a medal but going home with some wonderful experiences and memories as Ryan Bester <laughs> nails it again. There'll be people that came to this event knowing them they weren't going to win a gold medal, mm. and that's OK. They come for an amazing experience in the sport. Well, over the two weeks, we've pretty much turned on pristine weather. Um, and, with, you know, in the, in the downtime, then there would be downtime. They get a chance to enjoy the restaurants, enjoy the ocean, enjoy the, the shopping experiences that you can have here, and, and enjoy the theme parks. Yeah, a couple of roller coasters, maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. So ideally here, Ryan set up such a great shot with the first one, then you just want to get past, past the jack. There's really no way that Gary can get the shot without the jack moving. So Ryan was trying to just get past. That sounds like a challenge. Let's see what he can come up with. Yeah, he's about to draw a back hopper probably, just to prove me wrong. You're not far away. <laughs> 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 The weight was there. Six 
And Marker, with two players that like to play fairly quickly, the Marker plays an important role in being able to answer those questions nice and quickly and accurately so that they can, they can get on. And often you'll find... Early on, the players will actually test out the marker. They'll ask a couple of questions, see whether they get accurate answers. Yeah. And that determines whether or not they're going to have to walk up and have a look at the head a bit more or not. Yeah. Uh, that's, so. As you said, you know this marker quite well from WA. and yeah, he's very, very experienced. Yeah, very, very dedicated to the sport and to what he does. Um, he's really embraced things like BPL carpet, the club, and, of course, it wasn't that long ago we had... South Perth versus South Perth in the BPL Cup final up there at Pine Rivers. Needless to say, South Perth won that. <laughs> Eight five to Ireland at this stage, but that lead is about to be whittled away again. It's toing and froing magnificently this contest. Ryan Bester with his final bowl of the of this end. Looked like he was just looking for it to ease after he played that out of the hand. He's just going to be on the wrong side of the front bowl there, so... What? One it is. Eight six to Gary Kelly. After nine ends, Physio Cram helping us out here as well. Might well be needed, as I said, after two weeks of bowling. It's designed to keep you moving. Well, there is a pattern in this match emerging, and that is every end in this direction has been won by Gary Kelly, and every end in the other direction has been won by Ryan Bester. Yeah, I was actually interested to see what Ryan did this end, whether he put the mat and the jack in the same position, knowing that he hadn't won this direction. He has put it in a fairly similar spot, so be interesting to see here if he can manage to get get a win on the board going this direction. Gary's played a couple of great bowls on his forehand, just that trail with the yard, yard of weight. Oh, there's a, so, so many games you play where you just seem to find it one way, not not the other. It whether... certainly can play a rough part, can't it? Yeah. yeah. And there's, not, there's sometimes no reason for that. Yeah. It's just the way it is. Yeah. I think it's frustrating when you're playing a game and you can't figure out why you can't win that way. You're doing all the right things, but you just can't, can't seem to get on the ball going that direction. Sometimes that can come down to breeze. There's not an awful lot of breeze to, to speak of at the moment. Sometimes if you've got that straight up and down breeze, that can be a reason because it can be very different. But uh, not an awful lot being affected right now. It is purely... You know, last bowl comes into it as well at this level. Last bowl is a big advantage. In a sense, you're not supposed to win strings of ends in a row. Ryan Bester adds another in there. And Gary Kelly find another one of these little trails of the jack. He's not far away with this. Just needs it to get down. You could hear him scream under just as it was getting to it. Again, that comes down to those millimetres. You know, a quarter of a bowl there. And he slides off that and gets down to the jack. It's dead, hit it, hit it full. And Ryan Bester, I expect, still holds two. You're hoping just to get to the jack, tuck it in maybe. Maybe he's quite got the legs this time. Well, Gary's got options coming in there on the forehand. Carla, he's, he's got his own ball coming up now. He can turn that up. If he slides underneath and gets a little bit of the jack, he's certainly not going to be any worse off and could easily be much better off. Yeah, and he seems to really have been... But found a really nice line down there on that ocean side, so... 
similar weight to the to the conversions he's made the last couple of times going down this way down this way look at that concentration on the face mm. as he let that go it's in the zone again oh he's very close here how far is it going perfect One red. It's 9-6. We'll be back. Ireland leading Canada in the men's single final. Television Arena here for our bowls single final, the last event of the world's bowl championship. Where this is the gold medal match, Gary Kelly Ireland against Ryan Bester, Canada. Nine six to the Irishman at this stage. It's Ryan Bester just sitting Gary Kelly's bowl for shot there. Now, the only issue is there's still a big trail of the jack on for Gary Kelly. Ryan is going to be in the area, wants the jack to go his way. Well, that's certainly a better one. He's still only got one, but it just less, slightly less inviting for that trail now. However, it is still there. Gary can play to land the shot bowl or nudge the jack. Just coming up short there. That, that'll force Ryan Bester over to the backhand side. I think he would have preferred to be drawing forehand again here. I think that bowl will block that off. Backhand it is. Trailing by three. Holds one with his final bowl of this end, the 11th end. Just needs it to get down to his own. He's going to do that. Beautifully played. Two. It tightens up again. Ireland, Gary Kelly leads, but the margin is just one. It's 9-8. Barry, you've got some very nervous fair parents out there. I sure do. Yeah, thanks so much, Pat. I've got Kathy and Brian Bester, uh, all, Bob Bester, all the way from Canada. You've been out for three weeks, and uh, tell us a bit about um, what it's like to be out here in Australia and just witnessing bowls and obviously catching up with the family. 
Well, it's been great. Uh, well, this is our fourth trip down here. It's great. we got two new grandchildren we haven't seen before, and it's great, awesome seeing them. And so, of course, seeing Rachel and Ryan. It's been awesome. And got, I got to throw a few bulls the first couple weeks we were here. <laughs> bit bit uh, different to back home in Canada, the greens here? Oh, yes. They're awesome here. Yeah, a lot quicker. <laughs> Kathy, what was Ryan like growing up? Was he uh, is he a bit of a cheeky kid or quiet kid? Or t tell us a bit about uh, Ryan as a kid, Kathy. Um, he was a good kid. Didn't get into any trouble. Loved his bulls and knew from grade twelve that he was going to come to Australian bull. Oh, how good's that? Well, he's come over here and been a menace. Did you know? Did you know that? <laughs> He's trying to be a menace against Gary Kelly out there now with the, all those big drives. But, um, Bob, you, tell us a bit about your family, a bit of a bowling history there. You've got a lot of uh, other family members that play the game as well as yourself. Yes, my other two sons play back in Canada. And when Ryan was at home, we used to play as a forest team. We won the Canadian Championship once as a forest team. And I still play with the other two pretty quite a bit. So. Now, this is always going to be an easy question for you. Uh, I'm trying to make these questions easy. Who's the best bowler in the family? <laughs> Their mum. <laughs> oh, did you, did you really just say that? Well done, good answer, good answer. So you're here for another week. Uh, what are you going to get up to? You um, either way, I'm, I know you're going to be proud of whatever Ryan can achieve out there today. Yes, we're going to be. He's, we're really proud of what he's done like, over his whole career, actually. And hopefully, he comes away today with the gold. And if not, he's given her a good effort. And the five-a-side starts in a couple of weeks, well, in about a week's time, and uh, you couldn't manage to stay another few days and get, get a spot with Ryan? No, no. I'm not good enough for with him. It's going to be at the five-a-side. Well, it's so good to see you again, even though we had a good battle against each other back in uh, England many years ago, and uh, it's great to see your face again, Cathy. Lovely to meet you, and all the best to your bowls and the whole family's bowls and obviously Ryan's game today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ambassador Bob. Very diplomatic, wasn't he? Yeah, you can hear where the accent comes from, can't you? Almost, almost listening to Ryan Best talk yeah. there is very, very similar. Yeah, doing a great job, Barry, tracking down all the people that matter sitting in the stands today. It's great. So where are we at with this thing? No one's keeping an eye on the interview, to tell you the truth. Yes, well, it's, it's currently one to Ireland, and that, that would follow the pattern at the moment because this is this is Gary Kelly's direction in this match. <laughs> They've really taken ownership of each direction so far, haven't they? Well, yes, basically. Well, we haven't had two ends in a row, one, because they've each won every end in, in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. As Ryan Bester uses some weight here for no result. So it's going to look... Gary's still got one bowl to come, but it's looking like the pattern's going to continue. An opportunity now. There's enough room there for Gary to confidently get another one in. First to double figures. Of course, in the 21 up format, it, it can end quickly. I mean, we saw that mm. we saw that last week in the women's final, Pat, where it was sort of nip and tuck, and then the second half of the match, suddenly the the floodgates opened in terms of the scoring. And we had just a, a whole run of multiples, and the the game was done. Yeah, Taylor Bruce went back. Well, this is, this is definitely going to do enough, I think. Or maybe I've called that early. And he's got there. I think he got there. Two. It goes very quickly to 11 8. Advantage Island. Yet again, Apia are helping us out this week as well. Apia, the go to insurance for retirees. Give them a call. 13 50 50. Get set. Go. This is where I wonder, Carla, in a match, whether you really have the feel for what's going on in terms of I've won every end going this way and you've won every end coming this way. Sometimes you don't quite have that feel necessarily. Oh, I think they're aware of it, Clive. Yeah? <laughs> I, re I reckon by this stage they've well and truly um, clued on that I haven't managed to win one. I, do, I have noticed this end, Gary's, the jack's a bit further down, it's a bit deeper. Um, so I, I'm presuming that's because he's wanted to change it up a little bit. I think they'll be both aware that they haven't managed to win um, in each direction. I, I even was surprised that Ryan sort of rolled the same length last end. So 
This is the first time Gary's changed it, so is it going to change it? We'll find out. It's, it's being able to have enough awareness during a match to analyse what's going on while still staying in the moment. Yeah. That's a great shot there from Ryan Bester. That's also what's sometimes good about having that coach on the sideline is that they can pick up things that you haven't been able to. They'll be doing the same thing as you, Clive, right now, writing down the ends, writing down the length ends for their players so that if they can pick up something, um, that they can share that with their, their player out there and help them out. Gary Kelly, this is just going to drop across. So now big opportunity for Ryan Bester. He's found it with his first bowl. That just gives you the opportunity to group your bowls now close to the jack while the opposition perhaps searches a little bit. It's overdone the second a bit, but handy at the back of the rink if it stays up, which it does. We get to see a big drive from Gary yet. We all know that he's definitely got it in his pocket somewhere. So let's try and get another, get a close one with this. And just before he played that ball, Gary, just asked our marker where that ball was positioned in relation to the jack. And that was just to make sure he's playing the correct hand. With that ball just in front of the jack, the forehand's a better angle to be coming at it from. If the bowl was just behind Jack, he quite likely would have switched to the backhand. And can Ryan just back off this weight that he had on the second of his attempts on this end? And that'll do enough to count. That's what's also key about having a good marker, isn't it, Clive? The marker being able to tell you the exact position of the ball really makes a difference. And you mentioned earlier that players sometimes ask questions early on to test out the marker to see if they're giving you the right information early on. Then you know you can ask those questions with confidence. Yeah, spot on. Well, Gary's made the adjustment here. He's not far off the jack, just on the outside of it. And works his way through the gap. Well, he can't believe that can't believe that outcome, but right now, Ryan Bester in his direction on this mat in, in this match is uh, looking like he might level things up with a, uh, a big final delivery here. Good one. Good one here gives him three. He's going to need this to level. finish. Not going to. He'd be a little bit disappointed with that bowl. That was an opportunity. 11-10. It tightens up again. It's been riveting. Right at home. Sponsor our Jackaroos. For quality in-home care and support, call right at home now. 1300 363 802. Packed house here if you're enjoying the music between ends as well. Saw a few just bopping away in their seats there. I was bopping a bit. Yes, <laughs> including the commentary. <laughs> now, Ryan actually put the jack in the ditch, so it's actually Gary's had the chance to roll the length that he would like. Every end bar one has gone in favour of the player with last bowl. The only end that hasn't gone that way was the first end. So this, the patterns are intriguing. Pretty handy opener here by Gary. Gary will already be thinking that Ryan may attack that ball. This one's just going to drop across and well that's almost the perfect scenario for Ryan Bester to attack so Gary Kelly will look to change this slightly if he can. 
Little nudge to the jack or turn his own bowl slightly. Well, he's right on target again. How's this going to land? I wow. think we're going to see some weight uh, from Ryan Bester. <laughs> I don't think there's any doubt. Yeah, not massive weight, but solid weight. And bang. <laughs> Does not miss many. Going to retrieve the jack and uh, whack it back on the tee. Continue the end. Well, Gary had played two great bowls already, and he's done it again there. I'm very happy with that. Ryan getting head up and have a good look. Just trying to pick the best way to get in there. The well, he can't play weight at this one. He will need to try and draw the shot. Gary still with a bowl left up his sleeve. So Ryan will try and draw the shot. Probably forehand, I think. Yeah, I think he was just checking on the backhand if that shorter ball was in the way, but forehand draw. He's trying to well, he is actually well. reaching. Oh, oh, well. What do we know, Clive? Nothing. Well, <laughs> yeah, but he's, he's left Gary a lot of room to draw with his yeah. last. That's he, the only reason yeah. I thought he might not play weight there. Gary's played three near-perfect bowls on this end. Yep, this forehand he seems to have found really well so far in this game. Looks like he's done it again. And yeah, that was the only issue with using weight, but perhaps Brian felt that maybe he'd get a better result out of it. So with the exception when they came together for all after five ends. Ireland, Gary you know, Kelly has led since the first end. 12-10. Gary Kelly, the ride bester, but both of them Australian based these days. Both of them decided to come to Australia after Commonwealth Games, moved to Oz, then ride bester in 2007. Gary came here after the 2018 comp games, right here on the Gold Coast. Absolutely, both will be very happy with those moves at the moment, and feel like that they've they've paid off to get to this point. But this pattern continues. We now play in the Ryan Bester direction. He's won every end in this direction. Incredible. We're 14 ends down, and uh... I was going to say it's not like we've just only played seven or eight ends. We're 14 ends in, and there's, the pattern has continued the entire time. So you two have watched so much. I mean, are you getting a sense that that someone has the upper hand? I know on the scorecard. On the scorecard, Ireland leads 12-10. But are you, are you getting a sense that it's Ireland at the moment? No, I've got no sense at all. I can't <laughs> pick it at all. Sorry. I don't know if you do, Clive. But... No sense at all, Carl. No, uh, but... Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it feels to me, Gary's draw game feels like it's on. But then Ryan keeps producing bowls like that, so... <laughs> so you've got no sense either. I think our scoreline is probably about right. For, for where the game's at. But it's, it, it's, there's nothing in it. It's going to come down to one or two big goals to see who gets the gold here. It's Gary Kelly. What a great shot. <laughs> Brian will just be giving this one a little bit of a chance, a little touch of the jack, sit the ball. Under the weight was very handy. Gary's 
Are we almost trying to play the same shot? Change it up a touch. This looks to be on the tight side. It just needs to hold for a piece of jack. Just going to drop under. It's not the greatest setup for Ryan Bester in terms of he can't really afford to attack now with only the one bowl in there. So that'll be out of the question. Gary Kelly getting down here to have a look at the setup. And we can make it better for himself. I think Gary can draw to the jack here without fear because he pretty much knows that Ryan can't attack. So whilst he might think normally I don't want to set up a target, I'm not sure he'd be too worried about setting up a target now. Playing backhand. Well, he looks like he's playing to cover those back two bowls in case Ryan did decide to try and trail the jack. And he's got the tee with that one as well. I just had a quick run through the, the pairs, which of course Gary Kelly won with, um, with McEwen. They only lost once there. So he's undefeated here in singles. Is that right? He's gone all the way through singles. Oh, in this, in yeah. this event? Yeah, yeah, absolutely he is. Yeah. So he's lost one match in everything he's played. Yeah, incredible. And that is just missed wide. So we've broken the drought. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen ten. Ireland lead still. Gary Kelly has had the whip hand for most of this match. He's broken the pattern. We're 15 ends in to this World Championship Men's Singles Final. It is the last match of this epic two weeks of bowls here on the Gold Coast. Yeah, and it's, it's, when you get to this sort of scoreline, it's now poised, isn't it, Carla? It, it, it's, it's important for Ryan Bester now just to grab the next end or the next couple of ends just to... You know, 21 looms quickly. Yeah, this middle part of a singles game can really, really be vital in determining the winner. You often see, you know, you're trying to concentrate the whole time yourself. You see players slump a little bit in concentration. Um, the game can get away from you in this middle part. So, yeah, Ryan will be very conscious of particularly trying to get this end to keep the score close, but just like that, just draw front <laughs> hopper. <laughs> Brilliant shot from Ryan Bester. I think you know as well when if your opposition drops in that short one with their first bowl, you really have that extra determination to make them pay for it. Make Get yours on and really make them pay for having that short bowl. For sure. A nice uh, second bowl there from Gary Kelly just to get into the mix. Best is right in the zone again here. This is a thing in singles. We're playing nails at once. It's every chance for them to group those bowls right on the jack. We may see some weight from Gary Kelly here. It's a unique style, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Looks like he's very close. He is close. What a shot. <laughs> Don't worry about driving at it when you can do that. He's just been playing that weight so well, hasn't he? Just a yard, four foot even, just... Yeah, I've seen three or four successful shots with that weight. It's almost unfair, isn't it? Ryan plays two career shots. 
<laughs> and he just has it stolen from him. Absolutely. And now all of a sudden Ryan's got two short bowls on, on the green. The dynamics of this end have completely changed. He's finding his way around. Just going to roll too far. Fantastic effort. Look, it sounds a bit silly, but Gary Kelly needs another close bowl here. Yeah, if he can manage to finish between the jack and that last bowl of Ryan's, he can count and... Just needs this to finish. That will do enough for what he needed. Just needed to make sure that those two reds couldn't both go uh, and leave him three down. Well, this is close from Ryan Vesta. This is very right. close from Ryan Vesta. That oh. <laughs> and the last second. <laughs> Wonder Ryan Vesta. You won't miss a moment if you drink wise. Drink wise, they're yeah, wonderful sponsors of our tournament. View from our drone. We go straight to Gary Kelly, who's held the lead since the first end, and he leads 13-11. Coming to the business part of this 17th end. Well, the drought was broken in both directions in terms of uh, mm -hmm. those last two ends went the opposite way to the way we've seen them. Best are now looking to capitalise on the one shot that he holds right now. Match it up with another and see if he can square this away at the unpopular uh, scoreline of 13 all if he uh, if he can hold it. <laughs> Look at that. Brilliantly played.
for the superstitious among us. Look out because it, it could well be 13 all after this bowl. <laughs> Gary Kelly looking for the gap at the front of the head. He's dropping across, but no result. It is all tied up at 13 all, unlucky for some. First time since the fifth end of this match. We're now 17 ends in. Apia would be loving this. They are the go-to insurance for retirees called 13 50 50 get set go they've been very prominent with a lot of their marketing material here around Broadbeach over the last couple of days Barry where do we find you at the moment thanks Pat I'm with Aaron Zangle uh, Aaron uh, you've just competed in the world bowls mate it's uh, another one that you've competed in and so close in the men's fours making the quarter final what was it like to be out here at Broadbeach on the Gold Coast playing in another World Bowls. Uh, it's fantastic, Barry. Um, I mean, this is the best event for bowls, and to be playing against the best players in the world and competing and making it to the quarterfinals in both the triples and the fours, I'm um, really proud of myself and my teammates and representing the U.S. and being here. What about Australia? You've been out here a fair bit the last few years preparing. I know you came out to 19 Asia-Pacific Games, and you made friends with some of the local wildlife. We'll talk about that. And uh, what is it like just here yeah, coming back out to Australia and spending so much time here? Yeah, it's really great. Like I said, the, the conditions here in Australia, it's the best place to play bowls in the world. Um, the greens here are fabulous and the competition is so good. Um, it really takes getting used to playing on the greens here. They're so different than our greens back in the United States um, that it's, it's a different game. It's a different game and a different class of bowls here. And what about the growth of bowls in USA? Obviously, yourself, Lauren Down, you've got a fairly young crew. Uh, you see bowls really taking off over the next few years in, in America, especially with events like the US Open. Yeah, I think so. You know, and Lauren and I also play in the UBC as well, and um, the coverage of the game is getting better and better with your commentary being so good. Um, everybody just loves being able to watch the games online now, right? The live streaming of all the games, I think, really helps, and the, the potential for bowls to grow in the U.S. is really, really there. With as much people love sports in the U.S. and how great the game is, um, I think the potential is there for it to go off. Well, it's great having you and Lauren out here, you're great characters. We love the fact that we get the Cali boys over here. You've got your own personalities. But what about that bird, that bird that sits up on the, on the power line there? What's its name? Uh, the kookaburra, one of my favourites. <laughs> there you go. You heard it from Aaron Zangle. His favourite is the kookaburra. <laughs> that was a setup, was wasn't it? <laughs> he, uh, he is such a nice guy, is Aaron Zangle. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, he is one of the nice guys of the sport. They love getting over here and playing in Australian conditions. So you saw our marker throwing up two red paddles at this stage, Ireland. Holding two. One bowl each left for Ryan Bester and Gary Kelly. Canadians on the march. And I don't know that this is going to change anything. Opportunity knocks right now. Pat, I was going to just uh, jump back to last week when we covered the women's singles final. It was 13 all in that one too. Oh, really? Mm. This was a very good bowl here. This could go to 16-13 in a twinkling. It certainly could, and I think it's going to. Team Ireland love that. Is that a decisive move? 16-13, Gary Kelly leads as we pass through 18 ends. First to 21. Yeah, I think Ryan will be a touch disappointed with that end. Carla is just giving away a, a, a fairly easy three for Gary Kelly there. Yeah, I think he would be. There was, quite, there was plenty of room there for Gary to draw that third one in, so... Um, yeah, Ryan will be a bit disappointed with that. Uh, and I think, uh, I'm not sure what goes through your mind when you're playing singles, <laughs> Clive, but for me, 16 is my um, key number. I call it sort of when I get to 16, I think I, I want to put the foot down. Um, that's the part where I know I can really finish off the game. I get to 16 and really try and go to another gear. So, And we talked about how quickly the game can end when you're playing to 21. You get a couple numbers. So. 
if I was Gary right now, I'd be thinking about putting the foot down and really trying to finish this off as quick as I can. Yeah, and of course, Ryan wants to peg this back, so I get this end and, um, or you know, get back in within, within two or one. Well, you get this end, you dilute that three yep. back down again. Been a while between drinks for Ireland. Figuratively, not literally. Uh, Ireland has won one world singles goal. Jeremy Henry back in Joburg in 2000. Jeremy Henry, another Australian-based player mm -hmm. now, and it's uh, another player that's done just about everything there is to do in the sport. And, of course, a teammate of Gary, now both playing together at Wirrilla Bowls Club. At Wirrilla, yes. A, of course, Jeremy was a teammate of mine a few years back at the first Bowls Premier League. Great shot from Ryan Best just when he needed it. Jeremy, a player that's achieved a lot of success, particularly in the Australian Indoor Championships. And mm -hmm. the, so no surprise that uh, he's, he's the one that has done it before for Ireland. Gary's got both of his bowls quite close to the jack and now he's, he's just summing up his best chance. I think he's made the right choice. Backhand down onto his own now. Can roll that up to jack for a good result. And if he misses, he just gets in behind and that could be useful for later on. Oh, look at this. What a shot. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. Don't worry about rolling the ball. I'll we'll just around and sit the shot bowl. <laughs> Big weight potentially here from Ryan Bester. This Jack could well be looking to go shopping at the Broadbird shops. Oh. Don't get your fingers in there. <laughs> oh. We'll have to wait for a signal from uh, Ryan Havercroft on this one. Favour red. red. Mm. Okay. Ryan Bester already heading down to have a look at this. And Gary Kelly come up with another great shot. I think so. <laughs> is it getting down? It is. Well, it's certainly one. Gee, there's a, t uh, there's a determined look in Gary's eye at the moment. There is no doubt about that. Maybe two. Yeah, and really just restricts Ryan now back to the draw. You would know oh, he's going big. Well, I think he's got well, he's got the two back ones. So if he does get the jack. Oh yes. <laughs> Plenty of power. A massive result in the context of the match. Bang. Something in 16-15 when he was staring down the barrel of a five-shot deficit. Geeks to you would be loving this, but technology setups, repairs and everything in between, you need a geek. Visit geekstu.com.au and book tech support today. It just goes to show you can never quite predict a Ryan Bester shot. What a shot. What an accurate hit that was. We talked yesterday about how when you get a number, it's not really a number unless you can consolidate on the next end. And, and Bester just showed that, you know, he dropped the three but managed to get a two back. So all of a sudden... Gary's three was only a one. 16 15, both players. Just an end away from being an end away, if you like. You know, once you get to that 17 mark, you're just an end off victory. Mm. Well, look at these two first bowls.
These two are playing Shot to win off. right now. Backhand, expect just reaching weight to try and sit that bowl out or trail the jack. He's hoping to put in the Look at deal. this. Bang, bang. Oh. It's bowl after bowl. <laughs> Little nudge of the jack and everything goes off in different directions. And It's probably, in, 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 es in essence, it's probably not quite the result Ryan was looking for. No. There. I think Jack all the way through, yeah. as Carla, as you called. He was... played that real controlled weight, so I think he was really looking to put the Jack in the ditch and, and you know, ultimately land on top of it. A lot of chat out there either, is there? <laughs> They're just getting on with it, aren't they? <laughs> Jack. I feel like they turn up a gear all. I mean, they've been going good, but all of a sudden, every single bowl has been every, right, every right bowl. on it. Well, as we see this bowl just creep past. Baz, what's the vibe like down there at the moment? The vibe is all about making sure every bowl is up <coughs> and making sure nothing is jack high. You can see both players, although they're heavily conscious of trying to get close bowls, they know that both players are capable of running early if need be. As you saw Ryan Bester's second delivery, he ran at the head early and they know they've got to try and get close, but definitely not try and make any jack high or framed head set up for their opposition. And Ryan needs a second shot in here. He's looking very good, but once again, doesn't want to make this a target. So he's got second and the tee. So and big shot required here for yeah. Gary. Yeah, and a gap, as, as Barry was alluding to there. Last thing he wanted to do was land that right next to his other one. Well, two gives Ryan the lead, which will be the first time since the first end of the match. When 19 ends in. All you have to do is be in front when that score ticks over to 21. Gary Kelly is not quite going to get down to the jack. He's trying late, but not quite. So we get confirmation from our marker, two to Ireland, and all of a sudden Ryan Pester hits the lead, it's 17-16 Canada.
A lot of tension here at this made for television arena for the final match of the World Bowls Championships. It's the men's singles gold medal match. Gary Kelly Island, Ryan Vester, Canada. Gary Kelly just on the outside of Ryan Bester's bowl. That confirms that Ryan Bester now has the shot. It was very close before that. After Gary Kelly held sway with those first two bowls you see above the jack. And as you've said, Clive, I mean, with both bowlers, four bowls each, technically we're one end away from a finish now. Yeah, and Ryan won't have that opportunity on this end, but he'd, he'd love to right now. Well, he's urging that to reach. The body language is very clear on that. Well, it's still coming. Well, he wasn't sure about the weight, but that'll do. <laughs> oh, yeah, little fight. He was urging that very early, and apparently the urging worked. <laughs> Just slid past. One of the few displays of emotion. Carter, it's been tense, hasn't it? You, you just get that feeling all the way through this contest. Yeah, and even the crowd as well has been really quite tense. No one's sort of, oh, you know, relaxed and quite yet. Um, both the players haven't shown a lot of emotion. We haven't really seen many, any sort of fist pumps or um, celebrations and playing a good shot. They've been really poker faced so far. Gary Kelly with weight. It's drifting just under. Well, another two go on the board to Ryan Bester. What a change has come over this match in just the last ten minutes. Three twos in a row. Yeah. 16 13 up he was the Irishman after 18 ends he's now down 19 16. Thank you. They're the go-to insurance for retirees called 13 50 50 13 50 50 get set go. Well, get set and go is exactly what Ryan Bester has done over the last three ends. He's now two shots away from a world title but Gary Kelly I can absolutely guarantee you that he is not done with yet. About an hour 20 minutes ago we mused is this Ryan Bester's destiny? His solitary goal at the World Championships despite his profile was back in 2004 in the pairs. Carla it's been so many times on the podium but since then not on the top at a big big tournament. Yeah yeah there's got to be some serious hunger there to try and get this gold medal and of course the same for Gary as well he got to come away with the silver at Birmingham Commonwealth Games um, you know which is a great achievement but you're, you're always disappointed when you get to the point and if you don't actually manage to get that gold in that game so both players really really want this we heard from Ryan Bester's mum <laughs> didn't we we did yes Year 12 He'd already made the decision that he wanted to come to Australia to play bowls. Yep. When you talk about destiny, Gary Kelly, though, says, hang on a minute, I've got a story of my own. Possibly the fourth bowler of these championships with just a solitary loss in the pairs, which they then went on to win gold and undefeated to this point in the singles. Well, this is the most shots... He's conceded, I mean, it's 19, so it makes sense. But, I mean, he hasn't conceded more than 16 shots in a match, and not many have got double figures against Gary Kelly mm. right the way through. He hasn't had any games go to, you know, 21-20 or 21-19 prior to this. Pretty handy home there, just splitting up. Ryan's bowls. Obviously, he has to be aware now that if he drops a two, that's the end of the match. And the thing is, Carla, very often, there's nearly always an opportunity to create two on yep. the end of your trail to your yep. own. Or Yeah, you can't cover twos everywhere. This is big from Ryan Bester. This is big. Oh. He's got the jack and the back bowl. What a shot. And his bowl is sitting right on the tee. This is going to be one of those moments where the jack will not go on the tee. 
Therefore, it goes up the line without touching the ball. What a oh. hit. Oh. Now we've got a bit of emotion. So the jack is respotted up the green without touching the ball that's on the tee. Gary Kelly must manage at least second shot here. Just needs to pass his own. That will do the job. Wow. <laughs> it's gripping. 2016. I'll tell you what, Ryan Best is not a big fan of a respot. I reckon he enjoyed it that time. I don't think Ryan's missed a drive. No, he might have missed one and he got it with an extra attempt. Like that, it was just so accurate. So accurate. It's a little wonder so many companies are rushing to support this sport. Right at home, switch to better quality disability support. Choose Right at Home. Contact them on www.rightathome.com.au. Tell you uh, what, the one I'm thinking of, he's still got a result with Carla, but it wasn't the exact result, and he got the big result with the next hit. It's just been dynamic. Great opener. The Canadian champ is one shot away from a breakthrough world title. He has come with a rush in these last few wins and has clawed back a 16-13 deficit and now leads 20 to 16. Very handsy reply from Gary. This is going to get all the way back. Is it going to be in time? Is it going to be in time? Well, wow. <laughs> very close. Very close. Very, very close. <laughs> Can't call it. <laughs> Ryan Havercroft says, I am not calling that. <laughs> This will try and work its way down now, and it wants to be a bit careful. It doesn't want the outside of the blue bowl now. So. Ryan's gone down there to have a look himself, Ryan Bester. On the cusp. It, it does look. Oh. <laughs> a little cheer across the green. <laughs> You'd favour the flat bowl at the moment, I think. Well, you would at the moment. Well, I think we I might. think you might favour this now. Brian Bester. Great shot. Oh, shot. Oh. Oh, look at the support from the side. Of course they're on their feet. Of course they're on their feet. Just brilliant. Still, Gary Kelly's got a target to play to as the support from the sidelines. That's Ryan Bester's family right there. Right now, he's got a world title in his hands, but Gary Kelly's still got two bowls left. And he does have a target to play to. So it's backhand reaching. He's wanting it to turn. There's one goal. Well, I think Ryan Bester will look around the back here and try and get some representation. So if that jack does move, he's got enough around the jack. This will be forehand looking to get into an area. So if that jack moves, he's got a spot. He's got one there waiting for it. He's been three times on the podium at Worlds in singles. 
in 08, he took bronze in Christchurch in 12, he took silver in Adelaide in 16, he took silver in Christchurch. Remarkably, three podiums in singles at the Commonwealth Games, but no gold. That last ball didn't quite finish where he wanted it, but right now it'll do. And Gary Kelly come up with the match saver. It's turning. How much is this going to hang on? I think this is gone. And that is it. Ron Vesta. That was his destiny. So many times the bridesmaids and singles at world class competitions. Enjoy this moment. champion well Ryan you've just be, you've just become a dad recently and uh, big big embrace there with your partner Rachel you got your family here you've won a world title at your home club mate does it get any better than that no uh, not really it's probably the only thing I wanted to win in the game so finally did it so <laughs> here we go again all the waterworks mate um look you've We've heard in the commentary leading up to a big final like this, persistence, you know, you're one of the best competitors out there, you're playing against one of the best players in the world, you persisted, three times runner-up, com game so close, this must be the one, just put the cherry right on the top for yeah, you. Yeah, it was brilliant, I just couldn't win in going this way, so I tried throwing the jack in the ditch, let him throw it, but he was just brilliant on his conversion shots, and I was just like at the end that he missed a bit, so. But Gary, uh, feel free, he lost the Commonwealth Games, but he's so good, he'll be back and win one of these. What does it really mean to you? You know, like I said, you've got your family here. Broad Beach is your home club. Um, you've come all the way out from Canada many years ago. You've lived out here. You've given up, sacrificed so much. But what does it really mean to you and all those sacrifices? Yeah, it means everything now. Now with the family that, you know, I might not play as much in the future. So um, it's good to get the one tick. Yeah. And what about Broad Beach Bowls Club? What's it been like moving up here, you know, up from Sydney, over from Canada? And what's, how's the club really embraced you and been able to uh, support you in your role to be able to be a world champion like today as well as try and work at the club? Yeah, they've been unbelievable. Um, always let me go away and play. And all the volunteers, like this week, I did all the preparation, but Christina Pavlov, um, Dennis Morgan, um, all the Bowls Committee, they've done a fantastic job. They didn't have to do anything the last two weeks and just focus on this. We interviewed your dad, Bob, and your mum, Kathy. And uh, we asked the question, who's the best bowler in the family? And he said, Mum, Kathy, so surely you've got to be thanking her today. Yeah, yeah, thanks my mum. But my dad, I could never beat him in singles, so he always got his fourth ball in there. <laughs> and you're a big bowling family. Will you, um, we, I'm sure you'll connect with your family tonight over a, a few uh, celebratory drinks. Yeah, 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 I think they all stayed up, so I'll get them when they wake up, and I'm still awake. And these greens, how much did that play a part? Knowing that you could play forehand, backhand, weighted shots, drives, and and some of those big drives, you were definitely on with those today, weren't you? Yeah, for once the respot uh, was my friend today. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, both sides are brilliant. Les Gibbs and um, Aaron Sheriff, three-time world champions on the greens, and Alan Weber, they've done a fantastic job and best greens in the world here. And that big weapon you have, that drive, um, it's well renowned around the world. You are the best driver. How did it come about? You know, as a kid growing up, what makes you so good at that and and just uh, on that i know everyone around the world loves seeing you do it so well yeah um youtube five pin bowling i did that in the winter over there so i did that but it's weird i've been going backhand um the whole tournament and today i just went back to the old you know forehand and uh don't think i really missed one so it was good Ryan Bester, you are on top of the world. You are the world champion singles men's winner here at Broad Beach Bowls Club and for the 2023 World Bowls Championships. Congratulations. Thanks, Barry. Appreciate it. Well, a lot of emotion there, Pat, and Matt. Wow, what a uh, massive win, as you mentioned in the commentary, going from the last three runners-ups, persistence, resilience, and he's done, done it in front of his home crowd here at the Broad Beach Bowls Club. Yeah.
almost two decades since his last gold medal out of world titles. It seems like he's too good a bowler to have waited that long for a world championship gold. But this this is the one yeah. that will be the crowning glory of his career. Yeah, his little good luck charm. He's got him now. That's little Harry, his little boy. Yeah. So uh, he, maybe he's the key ingredient. The little lucky man bringing the luck for him today. Ryan's Sorry, such a popular <laughs> figure, isn't he? And, you know, so uh, respected the way he goes about it. Um, the big hits in that game. I mean, at 13, 16 down, he backed himself and hit that drive. But we didn't even see that he was going to play it, you know, and he bang over into the ditch for a couple, and that, that really turned the tables, and he won the last five ends straight, you know, to, to career away to a world title. We saw Gary get that three, and we sort of thought, oh, oh here we go, and then next minute he didn't manage to score again. Ryan just really turned to a whole new gear, and... Off he went. I'm yep. interested. I'm interested that he deliberately. He said it sounded like he deliberately put the jack in the ditch that end where he rolled the jack in the ditch just to yeah. see what uh, well Gary would come up with in that direction. We're setting up down there for presentations. The presentation will include obviously the farewell of Lindsay Clark from Australia's victorious gold medal winning triples team, and then of course Ryan Bester is about ready to have a gold medal draped around his neck for the first time in a World Championships as a singles player. How good does that sound? We'll be back right after this. We didn't see a lot of emotion, Carla, right the way through that. It took a long while for it to merge. Yeah, he, the, both the players were super focused right throughout the game, so it wasn't until the very moment that he won that we saw an emotion show across his face. So, and great to see him celebrating with the kids. Well, I'll leave this to you. You're a dual world champion to pick out our drink-wise moment of the match. Yeah, it's always tricky. There's so many good moments, especially throughout the match. Both players played some phenomenal shots, but um, I picked this one, Ryan Bester. You have to pick a drive. He drove so well. We knew he would, so accurate. But how's this? We've talked so often about being aware of the respot. When you see, when we go back to it, he had his ball right on the respot. We had to actually put the jack in front of it because he was so close to it. The, the crowds have stayed here because they know we're going to see an Australian gold medal presented very shortly. We're going to see a, an emotional gold medal for Ryan as well because we said through commentary how close he'd been over a long period of time. Yeah, he has. He's had a sniff so many times. He's got so many medals around his neck and that gold one was the elusive, so he's finally got it here today. Yeah, lots of emotion here today. Barry's about to sum it all up for us. Please welcome back onto the Broad Beach Bowls Green for the 2023 World Bowls Championship men's singles, bronze, silver and gold medalists. <laughs> Turning our attention to our second discipline, the men's singles, with the medals presented by World Bowls Regional Director of Asia, Claudius Lamb. Firstly, to the 2023 World Bowls Championship Men's Singles Bronze Medalist, please congratulate, from Australia, Aaron Wilson. <laughs> and from Scotland, Ian McLean. Please put your hands together for the men's singles silver medalist from Ireland, Gary Kelly. <laughs> now for the 2023 men's singles world champion and gold medalist, please congratulate from Canada, 
Ryan Bester. If you are able, please be upstanding for the national anthem for our world champion men's singles athlete. Thank you, men's singles players. You now may exit the rink. Please give another massive round of applause for our men's singles medalists. So we saw a wonderful day today, but I think probably if you're going to put a headline on it, it was about Lindsay and it was about Ryan, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, Ryan, we got to see him celebrate with his family, with his two kids around, share that moment with them. That's really special. Yeah, look, I just checked with Ryan. I said, what's your little daughter's name? It's Monica. I think she was the one who yelled out. <laughs> yeah. said, and I said, what? She said, it was a go, Dad. She said, no, go, Ryan. <laughs> And they were in, involved in that wonderful embrace afterwards. It was just a sheer love, wasn't it? You know, father and daughter, and she'd ridden the roller coaster with him. It, it, was, it was a great day. It's a great day of sport. Yeah, and the tight knit family they are, um, you know, and just to see Ryan mature now over the years, you know, uh, all the way from Canada, started out in Cabramatta down there. They helped him get to where he is today. And as we said in the post match speeches there, Pat, he had a lot of people to thank and a lot mm. of people helping him get along, get here. But for me, uh, an extension to what today's all been about, the fact that his parents are here all the way from Canada and they got to witness him win that yeah. elusive big singles gold medal. Yeah, he put a big exclamation mark on what has been a wonderful career, Carla.